Hello everyone and welcome to Art Party Friday. I say Friday, but it's really Sunday while I'm recording this. Mainly because I've been sick and my throat's been really sore and to talk hasn't been the easiest. Well, there's been some that have been thinking that's great. But made recording a video or doing a voiceover quite difficult. Anyway, back to being Art Party Friday slash Sunday. I decided for this Art Party Friday that... I would pull out one of those backgrounds that I'd started. I don't know if everyone else is the same, but I started background, a mixed media background that is, and then go, yeah, I'm not going to use that one, and chuck it aside and put on a pile. And I thought, well, that pile's growing, so I, I should come up with something to do with them. So I thought, right, let's pull out a whole heap of sprays and see what we can create. So I started with doing some packaging technique, some spraying, straight spraying on it, some splattering. I've used a variety of sprays, some from Lindy Stamp Gang, some from Shimmers, plus a Heidi Swap colour shine as well. After I let it dry, I pulled out a couple of stamps and did a bit of stamping as well. This one here is a deep red bubble background stamp, I think. And I've used dark navy archival ink. And then I pulled out this... I'm netting one from Prima with a green archival. Use archival because it's good with any kind of mixed media. It doesn't react to the liquid. And I thought, hmm, a little, little bit more sparkle wouldn't hurt. Found this stencil from Scrap Mats and some Treasure Gold. Mm, it's called Treasure Gold, but this is blue. has a bit of a gold tinge to it, though. And spread that all around in random spots. And then I pulled out some Nouveau Crystal Drops put them on a craft mat and got a key card out and spread some lines around. And then straight from the bottle, added some dots. Just for some random features. I was just playing really and re that's what Art Party Friday's all about, I think, just playing. So I set that aside to dry off completely and started working on the background for my layout. Now I've taken my inspiration from the mood board section Oh, sorry, from the colour strip on the mood board. And I was thinking of the navy blue, the green and kind of the goldy, sandy colour. And so I thought I'd bit use the goldy, sandy colour and the blue on the background. Well, it doesn't end up like that, but that's where I started anyway. And then pulled out this photo. I used to never scrapbook a lot about myself. But as the boys are getting older and we seem to do less event things and I don't know, I've, I've started scrapbooking more, maybe because my life journey's changed a bit. And this photo actually is a bit of that change. This photo has a few memories for me because it's the photo I used as my design team photo for the Crafty Maven, the first one that I've really made. So it's a bit of a special photo really for me. Anyway, when I was planning this whole layout in my head before I started it, I had this old whole notion of making this background and punching circles out. So I pulled out a few circle punches and cut a few random sizes and arranged them in that centre third of the background page, going, I suppose, on a slight diagonal. There. Fiddled around a little bit. And then glued them down. And then I pulled out one of the original sprays I used. It's a flat Fabio from Lindy Stamp Gang in a like a minty colour. Oh, and if you may have noticed, the background suddenly got a whole lot greener. Mainly because I just felt actually the brown didn't really work with the circles and the photos that well. So I covered it up with a lot more green. Added a doily behind the photo. And then I decided to die cut some leaves. I brought this die cut set. It's got some owls and some leaves on it. Oh, a few months ago at a craft fair, it's been sitting on my desk. And I thought, oh, I'll punch it out and have a look. And I quite liked the stark white against the greens and the blues. So I cut quite a few of them and added them in that centre third again, mainly around the photo and a little bit on the left-hand side. But I, I just felt it needed something to draw your eye in towards the photo and just to finish it off a little bit. So I got some glitter paper out 
because a bit of sparkle never hurts, does it? Originally, I had thought that I would use gold, but when I pulled out gold on the, the greens and the blues, I didn't really like it too much. So saw this blue and thought, yep. I suppose, you know, if you've watched enough of my videos now, you know I'm drawn to blue and green, so I couldn't resist. A very original title, not me at 49. Yep, that's how old I am. I didn't have a at sign in this thicker set, so I went through and I found a pretty old set from Heidi Swap, Colour Shine, like a square labelled one, and used some sprays. I forgot to record some of it as well, where I've added a few more colours, and later you, should, you can see now that that is quite green, the at. Anyway, stuck that down, and then... Also, you can see suddenly some half circles have appeared at the top and bottom corners. And I cut some little hearts out of the glitter paper. And I found these letter stickers in my drawer. Pulled out a few words. So I think kind of represent me at the moment. Loving life, free, family, happy, having fun. And I've added them through using my good old tacky glue in my fine line bottle. Although some of them didn't really want to stick that well for me today. Anyway, I used my little scissors, <laughs> my big scissors, and cut each letter sticker into a little banner end. I find with mixed media layouts that it a little bit of extra glue helps a lot of these things stick down, even though they are supposedly stickers. You're going over different textures, so it's often good to use some glue to help them stay down. Pulled out the mini stapler there. What is it, Tim Holtz? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, here's little, the little staples just to add some detail to those half circles. And I pulled out some green and blue sequins sprinkled them around and just randomly glued them down mainly in that center third once again added some enamel dots and finished off with some journaling and there you go my art party friday layout finished thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed it see you next time bye